So this is the new ground unit construction and formation tutorial. The first thing to do is we're going to use Space Master mode. Click down here to make things go faster and easier. In a normal game you would have to research every unit. This icon opens the ground forces window. I'm using Steve's Federated Nations game here as an example. First of all we want to create a basic infantry unit that will work as cannon fodder and sort of a basic structure for everything. We select infantry, we keep it with the light infantry armor and we select personal weapons. Give the unit some name and click instant. If you don't have space master mode on you would click create and then you would have to research the unit. To help out the infantry we can also create marines. Note that I selected powered infantry armor which means that this unit has more armor and improved personal weapons which means that not only their size goes up but their armor piercing uh, as well giving them a better chance against heavily armored enemies. But the cost also goes up. We go instant We'll put cruiser and anti-personal Next, let's make a scouting vehicle We'll give it an outer cannon Then let's make a tank Remember to change the armor to what you want it to be. Uh, medium vehicles and heavier have multiple slots. So the first slot you select normally the component here. Let's take medium anti-vehicle. And then you select down here an additional component. I will go with cruiser anti-personal. Giving this tank ability to both destroy other other tanks as well as to clean up infantry. Then let's make headquarters. Let's call this company headquarters. But and let's change the capacity to 5000. And remember to click avoid combat so that the headquarter tries to avoid getting hit and tries to avoid combat as much as possible, keeping it alive. And instant. And, f and finally, let's have a bombardment unit. Because it ra runs the risk of receiving counter battery fire. And now we don't want it to avoid combat because we want it to actually shoot in battle. So we gave it some armor. And supply trucks. And again, avoid combat. Instant. Now that we have our units, we can go to the formation templates. Normally, you would probably want a lot more of these. This is very basic, just to illustrate the thing. Uh, before you can start any formations, you have to click New at the middle. So first, let us do Marine Squad. The name doesn't matter, you can put in whatever you want. And for short, we'll put MSQ. We want Marines. And let's say that the squad has 15 Marines. And they also get two machine guns. Great. Then we want our infantry company. Um, let's say it's gonna have 120 riflemen. Twelve machine guns. Oh, let's go with 24 machine guns. Uh, 
and two headquarters. Next, let's make an armored company. Let's put in 20 armored cars and 20 tanks. And two headquarters units. Now, headquarters units do not stack. Normally, you would only want one headquarters unit. But if that headquarters gets destroyed, then the commanding officer bonuses are lost. So, for redundancy, you might want to have two headquarters in there. But remember, this increases the size of your total unit. And of course, the cost of it as well. Then, let's have an artillery battery. And we'll put in 50 field guns. Remember, the structure is all up to you. The names, the numbers, the sizes. The only restriction is how many build points you want to use and how much space it's going to take in your troop transport ships. Point being, oh, and finally, let's create supply company and put in, let's say, 40 supply trucks. Done. Now, if we look at our order of battle, it's still empty. Because now we have to build the actual units. Still using SM mode, we go to the economy window and go to ground unit training. We want our formation to have multiples of each. You won't see anything here, because we're not actually constructing anything, we're using the instant build button. Now we can go back to ground units, and at the order of battle we have the units there. But we're lacking the higher headquarters unit. So what we need to do is take calculator, and we see that if we wanted to create a, let's say, battalion that includes one each, we'll put in 2030, 34, plus 2600, plus 962, plus 114, plus 240, 80, giving us over 8000. So we go to unit class design, and we'll go another headquarters, and we'll put 8200. And we'll see that the transport size is 53 tons. So, oopsie, so we have to increase it. And you see that the size increased very, sm was very small, so it can fit. We rename it to battalion headquarters and avoid combat again. Instant. And now we see company headquarters, battalion headquarters. Company headquarters 5000, battalion headquarters 8250. We now need a new formation. We can just call it battalion. And battalion gets one battalion headquarter and nothing else. We close this. Go back to the economy window, ground unit training, and we have instant build of, let's say, two battalions. Close economy window, back to ground units, and now here we have 11th battalion and 12th battalion. And now we can drag and drop units to create our order of battle. So you can see that I'm moving one of each formation 
and dropping them on top of the battalion title. And now the view will show us the battalion and the subunits that belong to it and the complete organization unit list. The same for both. In this manner you can create as complex a layer as you want. We could now take the size of the battalion and we see the total size. Yep. So we could create a regiment. Let's create the regiment headquarters, but let's make it really big. 20,000. And that's because we know that two battalions is going to be something like 16,000. And we want to add something more to the regiment. So we put in 60, uh, 20,000 tons as the headquarters capacity. And we'll also create medium anti-aircraft. So we'll create a formation template called regiment and we'll give it one regiment headquarters and something like maybe 10 black cannons. Size 520, so it'll still all fit under the 20,000. So again, we close the crowd unit view, we go to the economy screen, crowd unit training, we pick up our regiment, we want to build just one, close the economy window, back to crowd units, order of battle. And now we can rename the regiment and we'll give this You can do it all caps if you want. We drag the battalion and the other battalion. And now we have Alpha Regiment. Okay, that's really annoying me. And we can see here 11th Battalion, 12th Battalion, and that the regiment itself only has the flag cannons and regiment headquarters. And the important thing is capacity 20,000. Total size 17,119. You want to keep it always under your capacity. That way you get the full bonuses from your commanding officers. And we see the entire size of the regiment. Or the battalion. Or the armored company. So as I said, you can keep doing this as much as you want. You can start from individual soldiers or individual squads and then go all the way up to army groups uh, as much as you want. The only downside is that depending on how many facilities you have, it can be very micromanagement heavy to build from very small units up uh, to very large units because there is currently no production queue. And the final matter, commanding officers. You could check our Brigadier General and assign them on the Alpha Regiment. Yep, more than enough. And we can see Commanding Officer of Alpha Regiment. Thank you for watching and good luck.